hello. This is Jennifer, but I guess all of you, well, some of you know who I am. Anyhow, in our school, we were asked to do a special project on internet safety, and we were supposed to find the safest kid we knew online. And the safest one I know online is my best friend, Shannon. My friend Shannon, she is so smart. I think she's going to be like President of the United States or something like that one day. And she's very careful. And she uses the internet, but she always has privacy settings. Like you can never find her on the internet. And that's really cool because she is so, so safe. Here's a picture of Shannon. And I even put it on my profile. And here's the two of us. And here is Shannon in her new bikini. She looks really, really good. We just got new cell phones, and we said we want the same cell phones because we're best friends. This cute guy gave us these really cool prices and this really cool cell phone number, and it's the same number except one slower than the other by one. Well, China lives right across the street from me, and I even took pictures with our new cell phone cameras of me in front of my house. I just hold the camera in front of my face, and I turn it around, and I take a picture. Here I am waving in front of my house. And we live on King's Court. Here's a picture of King's Court. And here's a picture of Shannon right in front of her house. Is that so cool? I really love these new cell phone cameras. Here's a picture of Shannon in her father's new car. What a cool license plate they have. And here's a picture of the two of us. We're going to be camp counselors. And I am so happy that my friend is so, so safe. And for extra credit, I'm going to put it on YouTube so everybody else will learn all about, um, like, Shannon. Why did you stop recording? Shannon? Teens and preteens tell me every day that they're tired about hearing of sexual predators online. They already know how to protect their privacy. They use privacy settings and they don't communicate with anyone they don't know in real life. They don't post any photos or any other information online that they don't want their parents, principals, police, or predators to see. But have you thought about how to protect yourself against friends like Jennifer? You may want to think again. Go out there and Google yourself. See if there's any information or pics out there about you that your friends may have innocently posted. If so, ask them to take it down. Bottom line, it's up to you to protect your privacy online even if that means protecting yourself from your own best friend.